hidden out here among the headstones are the ghosts, shrouded by daylight. It's good to listen. One could only hope to catch their call in the wind. And I heard a rough location of where the owls were, so I just came looking. The owls of the Salt Lake City Cemetery may well be apparitions. Yeah, so there's uh, the parents, then they've got three owlets. Sightings of the baby owls, believed to be just weeks old, have been the ultimate capture, drawing the living to the unlikeliest of places. Well, it's nice to see the uh, owls. I haven't seen them hunt, but I guess that would probably be pretty interesting. I know one night they were feasting on a rabbit, so there's plenty of food for them. Brian Barton socially distances from Taylorsville every evening to photograph the creatures. And then we spotted two more in these pines that were nearby. I think it's just a good place because you've got the tall trees. I think it was last Wednesday that um, they finally left the nesting tree. On this night, the moon had risen over the mountains. Lights began to illuminate the city, and the cemetery finally started to feel dead. There's a bat. When out of the blue twilight, there are two of them. the baby owls appeared and spread their wings. So I scanned this whole area of trees and didn't find those guys. They were tucked in tight. Finally, they took flight. Um, oh, there went one. It may be hard to catch a ghost. Oh, that's beautiful. But spotting these owls. Yeah, this is a unique opportunity. Is one heck of a hoot. Andrew Adams, KSL 5 News.